everyone, Smoking Joe Walsh and the James Gang. Great song. I learned a new technique and it's perfect for this. Jamming with a buddy, he showed me this and it was like the light bulb went off. So anyhow, we're going to go over that. We're going to go over some of the other techniques in this song. They're, they're subtle, but you know what? Joe is such a great player and um, it's a great showcase for him. So we'll touch on all of that next. And honestly, the whole James gang, man, the drummer was killer. If you ever watch some live videos of them, just watch that guy play. They're fantastic. It's just a great band. So, with that said, the way the song starts out, with, we're going to be at the fifth position. We're going to be on the actual seventh fret of the third string. We're going to bend that up, stop it with our palm, keep it bent, and then hit the second string with your pinky. <laughs> Then what we're going to do is release it as we hit it, and then pull off. Okay, you're not done there, though, just because you pull off, all right? When you pull off, you want to start bending that string back up again, okay? So it's a, it's a bit different, but listen to how it sounds. So you can hear that going back up. All right, the technique we're going to talk about is right here. All right, what we're doing is bending the string up now with my fourth finger on that third string. And I'm plucking with my pick, but I'm holding my finger, my hybrid picking finger, which I use the third, against the string so it picks muted and then I pluck it I'll show you this close up in a second but this is how it should sound all right so let me show you that picking technique up close okay so if I move my pick out of the way you'll see my ring finger is on the string You know, it's tricky to show you, but I think you get the idea there, so practice that. It's really cool. Putting that finger on there, plucking, and then pulling. So that's the technique he's using. Okay, so what we have so far is this. from 7 to 5 to open on the 3rd and 4th string. Just let them ring out. Joe kind of wants this to sound like you're crashing and not burning. You're going to line up with the chord. The chord we're going to end up with is an A7. Alright, so basically you're hammering on to the 3rd string from 5 to 6 and you're covering the fourth string at five, but what you want to also do is hit the A string, because this is an A seventh. So that A ringing out a little bit is part of this. Alright, so... And then you mute it, a couple chukkas, and then you're hitting the 7th fret of the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd um, string, and then back to your A 7th hammer. So we have this so far. So after we hit that hammer on to the A 7th the second time, what we're going to do is move positions. We're going to move our first finger up to that 4th, 3rd, and 2nd string, and we're going to hammer on to the second and fourth string to, from seven to eight and, and nine, respectively. Back to seven, and then three chuckas. And then seven, 
back to our 5-6. Two chucks and a plain old chord. Alright, that chord is, is instrumental. People kind of skip over it, they just keep going with it. seventh is instrumental in leading you into the next section okay so we'll go over that that that's the intro all right we got the intro down god bless joe this is just i'm so excited to bring this to you guys i really um all right we'll go over the uh, verses next this rhythm and including the outro and in post drum solo rhythm is different for the verses, we're going to add four chukkas after the first A7 hammer on. And four more before we do the hammer on. You, you'll get the feel of the rhythm as you go through it, okay? Um, it's almost harder to slow, show slower than it is fast. I've written this out. My notes will be below to download. Um, so we'll do that with the four chukkas four times in the first verse and actually the second verse. It isn't until I think the third verse where he only does it twice. But when we get there, I'll talk about that. All right. So. We're going to go through the very last section, or, or last measure of the verse. After we hit that A7, we're going to go right into the notes. So the first set of notes will go like this. Alright, for those notes, in, in the end of the measure, is we're going to come from the four string seven to five and that's picked I've seen in the tab it's pulled off but if you listen closely I really don't hear him pulling off I mean it's fast so anyhow we're gonna go seven five to seven five on the fifth string to three then we'll go right there to the third fret of the sixth string and we're going to slide up to 5 and then hit the chord, just a power chord, and then two chucks. Alright, so we have this. Then we'll repeat it again, but we're going to just stay on the A. Alright, first measure repeated. Measure repeated. Then we move that whole thing up one step. So we'll be going from nine to seven. Now, this last measure is just a little different because we're going to add a Hendrix chord to it. So the E7 sharp ninth, if you're not used to it, is on the, we're going to be on the root note E, 5th string, 7th fret, the 4th string, 6th fret, the 3rd string, 7th fret, and add your pinky to the 2nd string at 10. Oh, there's the verse. The second verse, again, is four times through before we do the little notes. And um, let's see, let me look at my notes. Then we're into the third verse. Third verse, same as the first and second. Four times through, then the notes. And on that. And then when we come in, we're going to come in this way. So all we do is end on the hammer on to seven. We're not going to add the extra note. Alright, so we'll have this. 
to end and go into the drum solo. <laughs> slide it off and then you'll hear the drum solo start. So during the drum solo you can actually chuck it along with it. Which I believe he starts doing towards the end of it. And then we're going to go into the guitar solo, then a post solo rhythm which is a little bit different. So I'm going to take you into that next.